guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy from Go Sammy Jam, and today we're gonna be showing you how to create a time warp with your GoPro Hero 7. So what is a time warp? A time warp is basically a really fastened up video that is super smooth. So it's basically kind of like a hyperlapse. They're really cool. Uh, you can feature a lot really quickly and the way GoPro does it with their new stabilization makes it super smooth and really cool to add into your video. So we are going to be showing you how to do it today. So before we jump into the tutorial, please make sure to subscribe down below to see more videos. I make tons of video tutorials on GoPro and I just hit the 1000 mark on my subscribers. So I'm really excited to see this community growing and I wanna grow even more so that we can all help and learn from each other. So so if you guys find this video helpful at any moment, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. Alright, let's get into the tutorial. So first, let's get into settings. For the best settings possible, you want to shoot in 4K and you want to up the speed as much as possible. You can do it lower if you're doing shorter video, but I recommend doing the 30 the times 30 speed. You will get the smoothest video out of the fastest speed. Now for a time warp, there's two different tools, not four, two, that you can use to help create a time warp. So the first is if you want to do a straight on time warp where it's just you walking and what everything you're seeing and you want it to be very stable and in one place, then you want to use a chest mount. This will this will give you the smoothest video, especially since you do time warps probably like over a 10 minute period. So if you want it to be super smooth, it's really hard to hold your hands super smooth for 10 minutes. This is what you want to use. Whenever you're not using it, you want to use a pole. So you can still do like the forward motion with this thing, but you're probably not going to be able to do it for two minutes. 10 minutes straight so the good thing about the pole is you can change what it's looking at so we can do a couple of different kinds of hyperlapses that circle around a building or it can pan up slowly or we'll go over a bunch of that so for the most part these are your two main tools a selfie stick of some sort and a chest mount okay so there's about four different types of time warps that you can do so the first is super basic it is um is using the chest mount putting it on and just walking straight so with this it stays very stable it's at the same height at all times and you really you just set it and forget it you go on your walk or you go and see everything that you want the camera to see and that's about it <laughs> uh, so this is the easiest it, it's great for like different transitions if through different videos good b-roll to like kind of cut to the next scene of what you're doing and stuff like that so this is a very useful tool um, I don't always have chest mount with me but when I do use it it always turns out really cool so the rest of the time warps are going to require our selfie stick so the first one that we're going to go over is how to get a side time warp this is a type of time warp where you're not walking straight with it but you got it sideways and you kind of are panning and you're just walking slowly like this this is one that is going to take more time you don't want to walk as fast you kind of walk want to walk a little bit slower but you can kind of get a pan of what is going on in the scene. The second kind is the kind that requires movement. Now uh, what we're going to do with this is, you know, it's going to require some of the front but maybe sometimes you want to turn it to the side to get a view of a building that's coming up and you get that and then you want to turn it to the front. So the problem with this is with time warp, each like minute you have is a very tiny point in time. So if you're going like this and then you go like this to the front, that change is going to be like that really quick. So what you want to do over time, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, is you, so say you're doing a side pan and you want to go to the front, you want to do this and then you are going to make this little turn over the course of like two minutes, which can be a little bit challenging because just gotta move a little bit at a time and then you get there so you can do this with other things you can go down and up or you can go down up and over and you know make your slow movement again depending what's around you and what you want to create this strategy is really cool because it leaves a lot of room for creativity if you want to capture a certain thing it allows you to do that where with the chest mount you kind of just stuck with just shooting what's in front of you. And then the last time of time warp is my favorite. It is a center point or a radius time warp. So this is the type of a time warp where you have a center point and you focus your camera in the middle 
on that point. So say we want to do a time warp of this camera. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around it slowly and then I'll continue on to do the back of it and then around slowly. So it's like a 360 degree view of it. We can also do it from over here and making it to the front. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Yeah. And that camera will stay in the front the whole time. So it'll be like the center point. Okay, so that did it. So you see an example there. Obviously it's very shaky because it's a short little video, but once if you do this with a huge building or some large object, it'll turn out really cool. All right, so that is how you make a time warp with your GoPro Hero 7. I hope this video was helpful. This is a very useful tool. I love using it in B-roll to transition from one scene to the next in a video. So it's, it's a great way to show off a new place that you're visiting if you're making a travel vlog or something like that. So um, yeah, it's a great tool to use and I hope you guys found this helpful. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like like, a comment down below if you have a question let me know and make sure to subscribe to see more videos they make a ton a ton a ton of gopro tutorials so you guys should definitely check those out so and hopefully i see you guys next time all right have a good day guys bye